Hey there guys, it's Delta Fernando here with a tutorial on how to install Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.6.1. Now, you're going to need either 7-Zip or WinRAR to install this mod, and both of those are free and links to them are in the description. I personally will be using 7-Zip. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a new Minecraft.jar, and by going into your Minecraft launcher and going to local version editor, you should see up to date with remote if you expand it a little bit. And if it is like that, then it's completely updated and it's new, doesn't have any mods. Uh, but if not, you can go and press Windows key R and type percent app data percent in the box, then click OK and go to your dot Minecraft and your versions folder and then delete this folder right here or whatever uh, version you are installing it for and it'll create a new one next time you go to play. Now if it is completely new, you want to stay in this versions folder and copy it and then paste it in the folder and rename it to something like 1.6.1 mod loader or 1.6.1 modded I'm going to call it. And whatever you name that, you need to copy that name and go into the folder and rename the executable jar, the same thing and also the JSON file, the same thing. So they're all 1.6.1 and whatever you uh, called it. So for me, it's modded. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna open your 1.6.1 modded file in a text editor. And if you don't have the ability to open it in Notepad, then you can go to your start menu and open Notepad manually. And then go to open and navigate to the uh, 1.6.1 folder that you are in and just switch to all files and then select it here and change where it says ID change it to 1.6.1 uh, for me it would be modded or uh, whatever you called it and just press control s or uh, file save and just save it and close it then what you want to do is you want to go to the Risugami's mods thread which is linked in the description and then you can find the mod loader section and if you want to support the developer you can download it through Adfly and for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to download it directly and then save it on your desktop. Now I have it on my desktop here and you want to right click it, click extract all, make sure show extracted files when complete is checked and click extract and then you have that folder open. Now what you want to do is you want to bring up the versions folder and then right click your 1.6.1 modded jar if you have 7-zip go under 7-zip open archive if you have winrar it should be open archive on this main menu and if you don't have either of those options but you have one of the programs on your computer you can go to your start menu and if you have 7-zip type 7-zip and if you have winrar type winrar and open the program manually and you want to navigate to the same folder which is in your users folder app data roaming dot minecraft and then versions and then go to uh, the folder there again and open it up and you'll see you have uh, many files here and you want to delete the meta inf folder and then bring up your mod loader folder and select all of the files using control a on your keyboard or selecting them all manually and dragging them all into the white space in the minecraft jar here and then closing the jar you want to then go into your launcher and uh, just restart it and just close it there open it up again and you can either create a new profile and select the jar or for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna change the jar to release 1.6.1 modded save the profile log in and there you go now you'll know it has worked and installed when you have a mods folder in that uh, folder that you have the jar in because uh, it'll just create it and that is where you will be able to put your mods now it is mod specific but mostly uh, they go in here as a zip folder uh, but of course if you have any questions you can leave those in the comments below and do make sure that the mods you are installing that require mod loader are updated for Minecraft 1.6.1 and yeah if you have any troubles I will be glad to help you out in the comments below. 
And of course, if you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials and reviews, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.